and it is my pleasure to be able to present a resolution for the linemen that serve our state. You know, we just had a few that were able to be here and two that I get to recognize individually for Senator Bean because he's in the dark, you know, this afternoon. For the second time being gaveled today, Senator, you cannot use uh, the, the senator's Senator last names. Sorry, somewhere. Senator from Northeast Arkansas is what you should refer to him as. Thank you, Senator. You may continue. Th thank you again for correcting me. It always makes me feel better to be corrected. Uh, I have, I think they're probably up behind me somewhere, Dustin Harris from Kennett Municipal Utilities and Dustin Flint from Kennett Municipal Utilities. And we certainly thank them for making this, uh, I think, full, about four and a half hour drive up here for the recognition today to recognize the linemen. And with that, before I present the resolution, uh, the, the reason why I feel special or honored to be able to do that, uh, some, some of these gentlemen and ladies know that this was a job my father had for 35, 36 years. And uh, back in a time when he had a broken hand and he would stick one of his three boys in a bucket truck with him, and you'd imagine what would happen with you folks today if you got caught doing that. And we would run the crimper and we would say, why don't you cut the electricity, Dad, so we don't get shocked? And he said, well, don't touch the wrong thing and that won't happen. That was always the answer that he gave us. Uh, I started pulling transformers up the side of poles when I was 12 years old because I could get the truck in reverse and be able to drag it up and he wouldn't want to wait for somebody out of St. Joe. I'm certain that we can't follow those rules today when we're working on our electric lines, but uh, somebody asked me to uh, repeat one more story about my dad and the good gentlemen and ladies that work for our electrical companies. I will tell you that uh, sometimes you're like a politician. Uh, when everything's good at your house, nobody wants to see you show up because they're afraid you're going to shut their power off or do something like that. But when they don't have it, they want you, don't they? Really bad. Well, dad died in 2017. And uh, probably from the time I was 15 years old, I knew at St. Joe Light and Power, Dad's name was Shirley Black. And in my mind, I didn't want to know what that meant. S-H-I-R-E-L-Y. My dad's kind of a burly guy. He's two or three inches taller than I was and had a chest another six, eight inches. And I thought... I don't want to know why they call that guy Shirley Black. At the funeral visitation, I figured it out. I finally asked several of those men going through line to talk about Dad. The way my dad got the name Shirley, S-U-R-E-L-Y, was during storms before they would quit, what did he say? Surely we can do one more. We can get one more person back on. So that's what I think of you all. You do go out in crappy weather. I watched him slide down a boom in the middle of winter because it got stuck up while we were at uh, the Basher farm trying to get theirs on going to dairy farms around where I lived to make sure that the lights were on. And having a dad that sometime, I hope your bosses aren't listening, uh, knew that person would show up with their light bill tomorrow, so maybe he would lose that ticket to shut them off today so they didn't have to pay an extra 50 bucks or whatever. And you probably can't get by doing that today with computers. But boy, we appreciate you, and I hope everybody has it safe spring and summer remember that because i also have a friend that laid the um, screw anchor into a hot line and got killed in front of my dad it was somebody i considered my uncle so you all know that you have to be safe and in those times you need to make darn sure and watch out for your other friends that you're doing the same thing so president if you don't mind, I'm going to read the resolution. I'll try to read it as quick as an old ag teacher can. 
whereas the members of the Missouri State Senate find it altogether right and proper to pause in their diverse legislative duties to recognize the tireless work of Missouri's municipal utility line workers and whereas Missouri Line Worker Appreciation Day, which is observed annually on the 2nd May and April, will take place in April, on April 8, 2024, whereas in a profession steeped in tradition, line workers risk their lives daily, work near thousands of volts atop towering power lines to keep electricity flowing in our great state, and whereas fearlessly facing any storm, Missouri lawmakers, line workers, boldly, yeah, lawmakers aren't very bold, Line workers boldly enter the scene to repair damage to power lines and ensure that others have electricity in their homes and businesses. And whereas line workers from Missouri hometown utilities assisted throughout the past year with electric system recovery after storms, tornadoes, and other damaging incidents, exemplifying the hometown utility line workers ethic of neighbor helping neighbor. And whereas crews of line workers from Missouri hometown utilities have responded generously to assist in electric system recovery efforts in the wake of natural disasters in other states, and whereas Missouri hometown utilities have worked diligently to create a culture of safety within the line work profession, helping to ensure that they can return home to their families every day after restoring power and making the scene safe for the public safety heroes, and whereas the state of Missouri and its citizens will forever be grateful to the amazing men and women who diligently maintain power lines that provide invaluable energy to countless communities. Now, therefore, be resolved that we, the members of the Missouri Senate 102nd General Assembly, applaud the diligent work of Missouri's municipal utility line workers on the illustrious occasion of Missouri Line Worker Appreciation Day, and be it further resolved that the Secretary of the Senate be instructed to prepare a properly inscribed copy of this resolution for presentation during Missouri Line Worker Day. Will the other senators please join me in saluting these line workers and give them a hand of applause.